It's a hearty high five. Parenting and family. It's always a big deal to research the things your kids are watching entertainment wise. And sometimes instead of shielding them from these things, you can expose and talk to them about things. So for example, at an appropriate age, you might take your kid to a movie and watch it with them and then go grab some ice cream and discuss some of the themes and things you saw in that movie that might be appropriate for them at that age. A good example of this today is the Barbie movie. You might take a 13 or 14 year old to see that movie and then sit down and talk to them. They might be dealing with some of the themes that were in that movie and you might be surprised at the things they have to say. We're trying to parent our kids to ready them in the world that they live in. And by doing this, exposing and talking, you are actually getting a little insight into their mind and their heart and you're being able to guide them along the way. Marriage and relationships. Sometimes in life and marriage, it's the little things that count. That's right. I know your love language is acts of service. Mm -hmm. So when I'm home working, I make sure that I make the bed, I vacuum the house, I do the dishes, I do the laundry, <laughs> I do all that. You, so how does that make you feel when you get home? It's fantastic. You do such a great job of being in tune with me during the day and I love it. Your quality time and physical touch. So because you do those things for me during the day, when I get home from work, it's great. I can relax, sit on the couch, hold your hand, we can watch a TV show, catch up on conversation. It is wonderful. So I do the hard stuff so we can do the good stuff. <laughs> That's right. So do you know your spouse's love language? And what's one thing you can do today to make your spouse's day better? Travel the world. Have you ever heard of Turo? It's an app or a website where you rent people's actual cars on your next vacation. In fact, you can rent your own car out as a side hustle. We use Turo a few times on our vacations. And a couple of things I love about it is that you're renting the actual car you're going to drive. So you're going to Colorado and you want four wheel drive, no problem. You want to go to LA and maybe try a Tesla or a Lambo, it's easy to do. On Turo, you can rent the exact car you want for the needs for that vacation. It's perfect. Now, the delivery methods might change. So you might in one place just be going to a lockbox to pick up the keys for your car. But in our case, in LA, we were met by the actual owner who handed us the car keys. And then he met us right at the gate where we could go in, hand him the keys and head straight to our flight. It was perfect. So I hope you'll try Turo for your next vacation to see everything you want to see and the location you're going to be. news and current events so the other night i was taking a walk in the park behind the house with a friend and we rounded the corner to where we could see the tree line perfectly and right above the tree line there were these sparkly twinkly lights moving through the sky in a pattern but kind of not in a pattern and then they were disappearing like one by one and i said oh my gosh are we seeing aliens you're not seeing aliens rebecca you're seeing elon musk or actually it's his starlink satellite train that's launching up to orbit the Earth to give us internet coverage. Wow, how many are there? Right now, there's 4,200 of them circling us to give us Wi-Fi wherever we want it. Kinda. So, not aliens? It's fun to think it's aliens, but it's only Elon Musk. Unless, of course, you think Elon is an alien. Sports and entertainment. Today, I want to tell you about a movie called Flaming Hot. It's the story of Richard Montañez. He was a janitor at Frito-Lay who eventually became a vice president of marketing for the company after he helped with the rollout of the Flaming Hot brand. It's directed by Ava Longoria, and it's fast paced, and they talk to the camera, they break the fourth wall. They might be a little loose with the facts, but it's still a really fun watch. And let me tell you, I've done a few corporate shows with Richard at Frito-Lay, and he's as charismatic in person as he is in the movie. So I hope you'll check it out this weekend on Hulu.